Hi Scorpio, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another love read. Scorpio, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Scorpio, these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Scorpio and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Scorpio, let's start your reading. Welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And Scorpio, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us. Subscribe to the channel. Become part of us. We welcome you in. All right, Scorpio. Uh, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Scorpio, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B bottom of my deck I do have the Empress in reverse well so somebody has decided here I don't want to have anything to do with my person anymore or maybe somebody has just been feeling very disrespected in this connection or um, yeah just feeling uh, well this is not it right or maybe just some somebody is just upset I don't know uh, from what I'm seeing of uh, the way you guys are feeling right now somebody really does want to talk they want to clear the air they've had some sense of clarity but there's a lot of stress anxiety sleepless nights over this realization the other person well feels this is over this could be the empress feeling that way this commitment didn't work or this there was no commitment and my person turned out to be a bit of a heartbreaker promise breaker i'm not sure whether i want a cup of love from them right so well let's start with your dialogue message cards we'll see how the story is going to progress after that later i clarify all these cards for you scorpio let's start with some dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other now what that would be so scorpio and their person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be scorpio and their person scorpio and their person Scorpio and their person spirit. Thank you. All right, Scorpio, let's take a few more from another deck. And uh, well, if any of you are looking for personal reading, Scorpio, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Scorpio and their person. Oops, okay, that's a lot, but we'll take it. All right, Scorpio, let's start your reading. The first card here says, I miss you so much that it feels like there's a real pain in my chest. I won't show you that though. I know you still check my social media. I don't check yours anymore though. Again, could be the Empress. I realize that I do want you in my life. Is it too late? You deserve to be loved. You are very special. I don't feel threatened by the karmics anymore. They are just playing their role. I'm happy for you. I have anger issues I'm working on. And the last one here Scorpio says, I can see myself settling down with you, but not right now. All right, Scorpio, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading. Of course, with an angel blessing card first. Let's see what my angels have for you as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Scorpio. And the card I have here for you, Scorpio, is Blessings of Abundance. Wow. So I think uh, I have a feeling somebody's realized their worth now and uh, going into a very, very happy place. Okay, so let's start with the energy of person A Scorpio first, then we'll move on to person B. Like I said, you could be either side. I'm not judging. If this is your story, you know which side you're on, right? So let's start with person A. 
So, person A, why are you in the King of Swords energy? What's the King of Swords for you? Actually, you know what? I'm going to give the King of Swords the mic. Since uh, the King of Swords is in the upright, I'm sure they have something to say. Okay, let's see. So, King of Swords, how are you feeling right now? King of Swords. King of Swords. King of Swords. Oh, okay. One more. One more. They have a lot to say. Okay. Okay, so the King of Swords says, well, I'm very ashamed of uh, the way I behaved in the past. I have a lot of regret. I have a lot of sorrow. I have a lot of shame, guilt, whatever. When I look at the past and how things never worked out. Well, uh, because of all that, I think there's been a lot of stagnancy now in this connection. But uh, you know what, Omkara Taro, I've made up my mind. I don't want any other options. I know the option I want. I've made my choice here. I just wish my person would uh, drop all that past baggage, uh, whatever I've done in the past. I've been watching them. I've been trying to figure where they are, what they're doing, maybe through, you know, gossip or rumors or whatever. And I realized, well, I made a wrong choice here. Maybe there was something petty that happened in the past, uh, Scorpio, uh, uh, person A. Uh, but that's what person A is saying, right? They do still see person B as their one and they do want to have victory i don't think they've said anything yet maybe their ego and pride is coming in the middle like one of the cards said right uh, i realized you know i miss you so much but i won't tell you uh, but behind the scenes i think per this king of swords is under a lot of anxiety they can't sleep at night they have nightmares they miss their person they they are very worried so what's the nine of swords uh, king of swords why is the nine of swords here okay they feel they ruined a beautiful connection they really ruined a beautiful connection and as much as they want a brand new beginning they're not sure whether they can have it nine of swords is clarified by the nine of swords scorpio this is the amount of stress and worry and tension because either they feel they totally messed up a soulmate connection and they do want a brand new beginning but they don't know how or they may be seeing their person moving on to a brand new beginning and that's stressing them out so what happened um, person A in the recent past that you're feeling this way seven of pentacles in reverse well a huge sense of disappointment at not having invested uh, yeah they One more. I think person A may have tentatively tried to maybe come forward and apologize or something, but that person may not have accepted or taken a love offer from them. Uh, they really wished, I think person A really wished that you know, this conflict would end and um, the barriers would come down and you know you guys could move to a happy place together. Um, but maybe that person, maybe there's too much delay or that person turned it down. I don't know. Maybe this Empress just uh, agreed to be friends if, if at all. Uh, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles. I think, uh, I think uh, person A did want a reunion. They could have said something. They could have said something, but uh, that I don't want to be single or let's not be single. But... Uh, there was a fear attached, yes. There, there was a fear attached. Somebody walked away from this connection, even though I think person A could have tentatively tried. Right? So, I think this Empress is the one who could have walked away. Maybe they were not clear in their intentions. I don't know. So, person A, how do you feel about uh, your person or how do you feel about the connection now? Person A says, well, I've been giving it a lot of thought. I've been alone. I've been in hermit mode. I really, really, in my quiet time, have realized that I do want to work on things with person B. But, um, well, there's been too much of conflict and there's al already been a breakup of this commitment. Uh, person A feels that person B doesn't love them anymore or uh, maybe they've just 
they, they don't have any love left for them. Yeah, they feel things are really, uh, things were really imbalanced and this their person could have already broken away the chains that were keeping you both tied. Uh, yes, person A is fearing that uh, person B has sh shut the door on them. That person B has decided to close the chapter on them. So what action person A will take or not take, we'll open later, uh, Scorpio. Let's go on to the other side and see how person B is feeling. So person B, you have the Hierophant in reverse. And that's exactly how person A is viewing you, right? So what is that for us? What is the Hierophant? Please clarify that for us. Yeah, person B says, well, I, I've become stronger now. I'm holding back. This was a commitment which went wrong or didn't go anywhere. I've picked up my strength now. I'm in my magician energy. I'm in my empress energy. And I'm manifesting, well, good things into my life. Uh, what, what's this Knight of Cups in reverse? Why do you feel this way? Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, one more. A person, he feels that my person, um, I'm not ready to accept uh, uh, any kind of offer right now because they may be coming forward just, just to get me back into a long-term relationship or something. But somewhere I feel they always break my heart. Their words have no meaning. Uh, this is tried and tested. Mm, I'm not sure that they are not going to break my heart again kind of a thing. Yes, when they say all these things, it's basically to get me back into the fold just so that this, you know, fight can end or whatever. But I really don't think I want, I believe this offer from them. Am I right, person B? One more. Yeah, they feel uh, the scales are always imbalanced in this connection. There was no justice in the past and now person B doesn't trust that uh, this offer is going to be genuine again, right? So what happened in the recent past that you feel this way, person B? Six of pentacles in reverse. Person B says there was always uh, an unequal give and take in this connection. Yeah, my person was always... Uh, well, they were, uh, there was nothing really wrong with them as such, except that they were very immature, they were not taking responsibility, they were uh, maybe checking out other options or just immature behavior. So, King of Wands, King of Wands, person B says, well, I I do feel that uh, they, they are better than before because earlier they were the knight of wands uh, who was really mature and maybe a player or something. Um, they have kind of maybe grown up or become a bit mature but I'm not sure they, they can ever change completely. They, this connection had become that toxic that I had no choice but to release it. Give me one more card for the six of wands uh, person B. Yeah, see the, the, the Empress in reverse again. Well, I don't think person B hates, hates person A. They still do admire person A for certain things. But uh, where, a, where as a connection goes, person B says, well, they never did right by me. And I don't think they're going to do right by me again. They're just wanting my attention. They just want to feel good about themselves. So, you know, but uh, I am not sure. I, I don't feel this connection will give me the kind of grounding and respect that I deserve. So how do you feel about the connection now, uh, person B? How do you see your person? Seven of Swords in reverse. Person B says, I've seen enough. I've caught them. I've checked them out. They, they're a bit wishy-washy. Um, they, may, they may say whatever they want to say. To have a rebirth but I end up always feeling that I got the short end of the stick right I always feel defeated they always end up being well my way or the highway uh, I don't feel balanced in this connection somehow I'm going towards my own happiness Omkara Taro I'm in a good place right now and uh, this person uh, somewhere I feel is a bit of a control freak 
they don't open up their emotions they try and control they they're a bit of a narcissist at least uh, that's how person b is feeling um, person a b says i am heading off for a passionate brand new beginning i want something new and exciting in my life where this connection is uh, concerned person a is right i kind of got drained out of all my love right same card same position so person a knows that they've kind of drained out this queen of cups and person b is acknowledging that i don't have that love love in my heart anymore for them um yes see i don't have that love love in my heart ace of cups in reverse came out to clarify the queen of cups in reverse so person b could be saying i'm in a happy space right now i'm uh, going off for a brand new beginning journey i've gotten myself out of feeling miserable now i've gotten myself out of feeling lack and always feeling you know like getting um, well just feeling left out in the cold all the time i'm i'm actually now in a good place and i'm not sure whether i want to go back to a place which uh, never made me feel good about myself so well that's what how you guys are feeling let's see what the most likely action is going to be i'm going to take another deck for this one scorpio and um, well while i shuffle that may i please request you to hit that like button uh, it really helps the videos to circulate scorpio and of course yes it does make me feel very happy to know how many of you i'm resonating with or connecting with and uh, newcomers when you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that way then youtube can notify you when new videos are released okay thank you all right person a will you take any action towards person b or otherwise strength in reverse they don't have the courage why 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 is the strength in reverse why is the strength in reverse for you one more why is the strength card in reverse for you person a why is that an action four of wands ten of swords eight of pentacles and the four of wands one more why is the strength card in reverse as an action Oh. Oh. They want a reunion. They're feeling very weak without that person. They don't feel good at all. I for first I thought they didn't have the courage to come forward, but this is them saying, "I I don't feel strong without my person in my life anymore." This is how they're feeling. 10 of swords. They feel they ended something beautiful. I have a feeling person A still wants to work on the connection. They do want a reunion. They do want um, to have something stable with person B. They do see a future with person B and uh, well they they're dreaming of uh, coming back as the king of pentacles, somebody who can Well this is the spouse card the husband who or wife or whatever somebody who takes control of a situation and is the uh, well the other half they're not sure whether they can get it but that's what they want that's the action they would like to take okay so person b what about you action from your end devil in reverse why is that an action why is that an action person b let's see why is the devil in reverse an action from your end huh. oh one second one more i have a feeling a uh, person B feels it's in their hands now to make that decision or that choice right so they i think this person is deciding to this is hard for me to say but i i think person B knows the ball is in their court and the decision is theirs to make Mm, person B doesn't want anything toxic in their life so right now they could be thinking of stagnating this connection this person has i think taken control of their own life they feeling very strong in their own life 
they are they've taken charge or control i don't know look at the sun card again this person is in a very very happy space and is kind of enjoying their victory or happiness they're looking for a true emperor in their life they don't want anything that's going to be wishy washy i don't think person b wants to take that chance to bet on something that they are not sure so person a you have all the right cards but your strength is in reverse do you want to try this again why is the strength card in reverse why do you feel the strength card in reverse i mean your intention seem good but yeah because you fear that your person has already walked away right person a is feeling a little weak because they feel it's been delayed for too long or they wasted too much time maybe their person has already walked off now doesn't love them anymore but heart of hearts person a does want a renewal person b since i've given person a an extra card i'm going to give you one as well uh, what's your action towards person a forget about your life i know you're doing very well and you're enjoying your new found freedom and victory and you're in the sunshine but what's your action going to be towards person a oh, too many cards one card just one card please okay six of pentacles well i think person b is okay to have maybe a friendship or an equal give and take Well, if you say hi to me, I'll say hi to you. But I don't think person B is ever going to be in a position where they overgive to an extent where they get drained out. Person B has kind of learned their lesson of uh, self-respect, self-pride. Maybe they are doing very well, and they found they found their blessings of abundance after taking back control and charge and power of their own life. so now this person is going person b is going to be very discerning they i don't think look very upset or angry with person a but they're going to keep it very balanced okay so that's all i have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste